Yo, welcome builders, and it is your here. Welcome back to another Minecraft tutorial. This is a snowy tundra house. Let me show you around. Inside here we have the main living area, complete with a really fun and warm fireplace and an interesting roof. Uh, down here we have a basement for all your storage needs. Oh, bit of snow down here. <laughs> How did the snow get in the basement? Anyway, a large basement, which seems to have been snow. You didn't see this, right? Nobody, you didn't. <clears throat> anyway, you can also climb right up to the tower, as long as that lamp isn't in the way. And I should have practiced this. I should have practiced. Look at that. We've got a little tower as well. And down the side, you've got a wood store as well in here. And of course, the wood store uh, has plenty of snow on top because it isn't heated. But this roof doesn't have too much snow on top because it would be heated and the snow would melt. So a basement, a living area, a tower and a wood store. And it all fits onto a 17 by 17 area. Let's get it built. First of all, set out a 17 by 17 area and divide it up into this grid where there's three blocks between every yellow dot. And we're gonna grab these ingredients to start with. Stone, andesite, polished andesite that is. Cracked stone bricks, stone bricks, cobblestone, andesite, iron bars, and cobblestone stairs and stone brick stairs. We're going to mark out the basement and the tower. Now, use a mixture of all these blocks. I'm going to use one block, but you should be using an absolute mixture of all the solid blocks you can see in the inventory. I'm going to use polished andesite and then use world edit to change this whole area into uh, the mixture of blocks. So what we want to do is build this uh, area up using a big mixture of blocks until it's four blocks high. So here we go, I'm gonna use some world edit just to change this into a complete random mixture of blocks. And this is what you should have been doing as well. Uh, there we go, crack stone brick, andesite, stone bricks, stone, uh, cobblestone, as well as polished and the site. So there we go, a complete and utter mixture. Now down here, I'm gonna turn the floor into polished and the site. There we go, the whole basement floor filled in. You could use stone, you could use cobble, you could use a mixture of blocks. Again, I've just gone for a nice fancy floor. All right, now we're gonna put in a little bit more detail onto this. We're gonna need some smokers, just two I think, and need some Spruce logs are going to form the kind of the rafters of the top of the basement, kind of the ceiling of the basement. It's going to be the floor, in fact, of the main living area. So make a cross like that out of your spruce logs. Have that one fire through and be held up by the stone. I love doing that kind of detail. Smokers are going to go in the corner like that. Just two of these is all we need, I think. And then you can add in upper oak slabs and these are going to form the floor and of course the ceiling depending on your perspective here we need to form another wall it's going to be the entrance between the tower or the gap between the tower and the basement again a variety of blocks to be used there and now we have a way through from the tower into our basement Let's grab some iron bars, cobblestone stairs, and stone brick stairs. We're gonna put in some windows. So try and get it into the middle of this little five by five section. That's where we're gonna be having a little window. So we'll go for an upside down stair just to frame that window again in the middle. Oops, that's not right. We need to go right there. Upside down stair. And the iron bars are gonna go in there. Again, right in the middle of the five by five section, we can put in these little windows as well. And I think when recording, I actually missed out. I'm voicing over after I record this. I miss out one staircase at some point, but in the inside, you can do little staircases as well. And of course, maybe you could even use some stone staircases or andesite staircases as well to give you that nice mixture. Add in some lighting of your choice, torches or lanterns. 
and your basement is actually done. There we go, looking very smart. Okay, so next of all, we wanna grab some stone and we're gonna be adding on nine blocks. Six, seven, eight, nine more blocks to make the tower. I'm just making this out of stone just now, but it needs to be the, the mixture of all the blocks. Cracked stone bricks, stone bricks, andesite stone, and polished andesite. So that needs to be nine blocks high, added onto the four you've got already, making your tower so far 13 blocks. And again, to speed things up for the video, I'm going to use that special command, replacing that stone with a big mixture of cracked stone bricks, polished andesite, andesite, cobblestone, stone, and as you can see, that's worked out nicely. Cool. All right. So uh, next we want to grab um, some more of these stairs and we're going to be putting in a window. <clears throat> I'm going to grab oak log, spruce trap door and smooth stone slabs. We're going to finishing off. We're going to be finishing off this tower. So right here at that level, we're going to be taking away those three blocks, miss out a gap and then three more blocks, gap of one. And this is where our windows are going to be. So two windows around this side as well. And then one window on this side of the tower as well. And just frame these windows with your choice of stair block. You could match the stair block up to the blocks you have around it in your random pattern if you wish. I'm just doing it fairly quickly, putting in simply andesite and stone bricks. And I think I've, yeah, I've missed out one set of iron bars at the top there. Never mind, we'll catch that up with that later on in the video. Okay, stone slabs, stone, cracked stone bricks, and the site. Let's add on kind of a mixture of blocks in crenellation style at the top. It's every alternate block all the way around. Excellent, and once you've done that, we're gonna be adding in some smooth stone slabs, pretty much on top of every single block in the gaps and on the main uprights as well. There we go. Nice little polished, smooth stone slab. Love that block. Gives a real nice decorative feature to the build. Now we have our spruce trapdoors as well, just filling in the gaps all the way around. And then your choice of banner, I'm gonna go for orange. Maybe red would have been a good idea because I put red, I put a red flag on this later on as well. <clears throat> okay, wonderful. That is the tower complete. Obviously we've got to add in an internal staircase as well and let's get that done. So for the internal staircase, we need a couple of spruce doors oak logs, couple of ladders, spruce fences, your choice of flag, maybe I should have gone for orange, um, oak fence, oak slab, and stone brick stairs. All right, first of all, we're gonna add in a little step up here so we can actually gain access to the tower. So there we go, put those steps exactly in that position, and then some uh, <coughs> upper oak slabs, and that brings us um, a little staircase up and into our tower. And again, you could have done a mixture of wood types and you could have done a mixture of stair types as well. Cut in a couple of doors there. I'm actually gonna recess this door in like that. And then above it, we can put in, I guess, an upside down stair like that. And uh, to be honest, we could do the same round here as well. This is a little uh, doorway into the main living area. So I need to just put the door just there. Perfect. All right, great. So now we want to make a little entryway. So those three blocks there are kind of crucial. Once you've done that, you can make a staircase. You can see I'm making a bit of a mistake in the staircase. So just hold on, don't copy this just yet. But that's gonna be a staircase down to our basement. And we're gonna realize my mistake. Oh, right there. So <laughs> a simple staircase, actually quite good to put this in before you put the central column just ends up being a little bit easier so there we go little staircase and that's like that and then we need to build up more of these stairs to get all the way up to the top of the tower so you can watch out for any enemies coming along there we go finally figured out 
I'm missing some iron bars. And we don't want to go too far up. That would I would suggest that that's a little bit too far up. So let's figure out where we want to be. I'm going to be adding in, I think, yeah, let's take out those. And the last couple of steps are going to be by a ladder. And that gives you, I think it gives you good sort of protection from snow landing down onto your staircase. If it was open, you know, the staircase would get too snowy. So a little bit of a ladder there. You could put a hatch above it if you wanted as well. A little trapdoor above that ladder. There we go. Cool. And then right down here, we can add in a little central column here made of oak logs. And we could actually burst it right through as well. And that's going to hold up our flag. A little bit of health and safety there with one more fence. And then we can move on to our flag. Five bits of spruce fence. And then a simple flag. You can copy my design or you can come up with your own one. There we go. Brilliant. Okay, great progress. Tower done, basement done. Let's grab the cracked stone bricks, cobblestone, stone bricks, and some stone brick stairs. And we're going to be adding in our chimney. So the chimney is going to go right here. First of all, come out by these six blocks and then six on top. Then you can start to make a mixture of blocks. And you're just trying to build this up until it's the correct same height as the rest of the build again a nice beautiful mixture let's grab some andesite for the corner and there we go so it's four high so eight blocks here to form our chimney i like a working chimney one that the smoke can actually get up out of so these are eight blocks high and little uh, cross formation like that and once again, actually, you need to have made this chimney out of a mixture of blocks. So I'm going to use that world edit command I've got just to speed up the video and make this into a complete jumble and mixture of blocks. So the chimney is looking good so far. We need two more blocks here, and then we're going to put stairs on top facing in the way. So let me grab some stairs. Uh, here we go there stairs and stairs and then we can do the inside part of our chimney as well oh let's do the top of it first of all I like to do a little kind of upturned stair part I've been doing these kind of chimneys now for about a year there we go and then on the inside this is where the fire is going to be so take away those two blocks and then we're going to be facing our stone bricks like that and like that, just to create a little bit of a fireplace. Let's put the campfire right inside. There we go. Much safer than nether rack and setting on fire. Remember, remember having to do that? A couple of stair blocks and your fireplace is actually complete. We can do a little bit of decoration in the fireplace as well if you want. So starting two blocks up, we're going to go one, two, three, four. Two staircases right the way up and two staircases upside down. And that just creates a little bit of detail in the chimney from behind. Okay, great. Now we're going to do the main cabin of the building. But first of all, one, two, three blocks, four, five stone bricks right there. And that just provides a little banister and barrier for the side of your staircase. All right, the main house, plenty of stripped spruce lob, sp <laughs> lobs, logs, spruce trapdoors, jungle trapdoors, birch trapdoors, spruce blocks, spruce stairs, oak stairs, oak slabs. We've got some glass and they look like big lumps of chocolate. We'll come back to them. Some dark oak, one, two, three, four. In the corner, dark oak trapdoors, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four cool and then in the middle here one two three four five six <laughs> why did i do that so fast i don't know one two three four five six all 
and then we're going to go for some upside down spruce stairs uh, at the base it provides kind of a nice indented junction between the stone and the spruce as well and then back to stripped spruce log one two three four five on there same again on the other side And we can put in our windows. They're going to be two blocks high. And then above them, I'm going to place temporarily some spruce planks there so I can face these stripped spruce logs like that, nicely faced. And from the outside, they look pretty cool as well. And they, they look like kind of the Mojang or Mojang builds as well in the snowy tundra. All right, great. <clears throat> so next we're going to go for some more spruce planks and they're going to st uh, stick out. In fact, some spruce planks, we haven't used them yet like that. And this is going to be the start of our roof. Bring those right around to there, more spruce planks there, and then more spruce planks right on the tower there. Two more spruce stairs going up the way. And then we've got one upside down stair, and that's the staircase he's finished. Now we're on to spruce slabs. Oh, looks like I need to get this out of the inventory. I missed it out, spruce slab, there we go. So we're gonna go two like that, bottom slabs, and then two uppers, like that. And then finish it off with one, two, three, four nice round shape. I've been doing this kind of round shape for my roof for quite a while now. I'm kind of addicted to it. Just in here we want to face some more of these spruce logs just to seal up that little gap right there. And once that's done, a couple of spruce trapdoors. Same in this bit here. And then actually from the outside we're going to double up and make these kind of doubly thick spruce trap doors. And you could do the same at the top ones if you want as well. I don't think I bothered, but you could do if you wished. Probably you should. Dark oak trap doors are going to form kind of nice shutters on the glass windows here. So I guess we'll put these just there. Like that. There we go. Nice shutters on the windows. Perfect. So we have some more roofage to do on this side. Again, spruce planks, stairs wrap around, two upright stairs, and then one upside down. And then it's back to having some spruce slabs in our inventory. Have I got that? Nope. Let me grab spruce slabs. Just bring them up to the chimney. Like that. One, two, three, super simple. Cool, we've got our roof shape done nicely. Now we're gonna go for more of these spruce logs on the inside, just there and here. And also just here, temporary block there temporary block and then one, two, three. This links everything nicely onto our central fireplace. Okay, so um, we're gonna be doing some of the side walls here. And for this, we're gonna need our trap doors, birch, jungle, and spruce. So we're gonna start off with some spruce, I think. Let's see. So we're going to start on the outside. And just cover that whole gap there with spruce. You can see they're kind of sticking out on the outside. And that one there is going to become uh, a window. And the window is going to be made of jungle trapdoor. Same on this side. Spruce trapdoor is one of the most versatile and enjoyable 
blocks to work with in Minecraft, I think. I'm just wondering where the, where the window is going to be, but I'm pretty sure I've got it in the right place. Window right there, boom. Yep, perfect. Cool, now we can go to the inside of our build. Oh, got some more to do here. One, two, three, four, five, six. Four, five, six, get rid of those ones. And then, yeah, head on to the inside and you can put your jungle trap doors. These are gonna be your window blocks. And by coming inside, you create that little bit of depth from the outside and it also lets you put on the birch trap doors as well to act as little little mini shutters for these windows so that window looks like it's going to be up there at that height and then your birch trap door just fits in beautifully there isn't that great really cool ways of doing walls and windows i think really cool walls and windows I'm using the stevens traditional texture pack it's very close to default i'm using bsl shaders as well so there we go Cool, yep, place is looking fantastic. Let's have a look on the inside. Anything else to do on in here? No. Did I decide to move that one down? I think I decided to move that one down. Oh well. Oh well. I thought it looked pretty smart where it was, but never mind. Your choice as to where you put that window. I think maybe moving it up one block. I think I like. Anyway, I'm taking off that birch uh, trap door there. This whole place is starting to really come together. Now we're gonna need to grab onto some oak stairs and slabs. So oak stairs there, same on the other side, all the way along. And then it's simply finishing off this build with some, um, with some slabs, some oak slabs. So let's get these put in. Same over here. You can make those full blocks if you want. So this roof is gonna be pretty warm. I don't think it'll have any snow on it because of the heat coming off the fireplace. It would, the heat would rise up to the ceiling and just melt everything on the roof. You could make it oak here, or I think I decide to actually make it spruce. There we go, beautiful spruce. And the main building roof is actually finished at this point. Wonderful progress. And by having lights on the inside, you really start to get that welcoming winter feel. You could actually <clears throat> put a beam across here as well for a little bit of extra detail. Am I gonna do that? Maybe I'm not gonna do that beam just now. Maybe I'm just gonna put in some, some lanterns right above the windows and that gives you the glowing light coming through the windows. It looks very, very nice from the inside. Okay, these windows, hard to put a lantern up. We could just maybe add in that little shelf there and you could hang the lights down. Again, viewed from the outside, this should look really, really cool. What we can, in fact we could do is go into night time and see what this place looks like. It should be glowing nicely already. There we go, really cool. Look at that, looking very homely, welcoming, and cozy, gives it a cozy feel. That's the word I was looking for. Now these lanterns, I think later on in the video, I decided to put chains to hang the lanterns down a little bit, but we'll come back to that level of detail a little bit later on. All right, moving on. So now we're gonna do the wood shed at the side. So spruce slabs. Trap doors, plenty of snow and snow layers, cobblestone, cobblestone stairs, stripped spruce log. I'm also gonna grab some spruce stairs and some oak slabs. All right, first of all, it is cobblestone time. One, two, three, four, and then turn in the way. Put yourself some cobblestone stairs right there. Again, we're still using this uh, grid system to build with, and it really helps to plan out your builds in sections. 
same exact detail on the other side and this is going to hold up our staircase everything's kind of working out nicely so far stripped spruce logs are going to stick out by one cool and then we're on to the same kind of roof that i've been doing um on the inside here we're going to go one two three four i think with the stripped spruce just to create kind of help to create some doors Oh, can't forget the floor. It wouldn't be a grass floor, of course, would it? It would definitely be some sort of stone, maybe a wooden floor. You could use coarse dirt and podzo would look very good. Actually, podzo would look very good for the, the floor of the woodshed where you get all the little wood chippings falling down. So yeah, I would mix in some podzo, some coarse dirt for a little bit of extra detail there if I were you. Okay, some stripped spruce logs for them again now that block looks wrong I think yeah let's let's put that block the upside down spruce stair should go down by one right there and there we go ready to form our doors nicely to our barn right roof time so we've got five of those spruce stairs and one more and upside down, same on the other side. Two spruces upside down. And it's a question of grabbing some beautiful spruce slabs. And finishing off just like that. That is the roof to our woodshed. Bring that across, that's going to be useful for holding up the snow we're going to put. We're going to make a snow roof and it's um, a roof which doesn't really have much wood associated with it because I think it would be very cold in the woodshed and so you really wouldn't get any, uh, you know, the roof would just pile up with snow and the snow wouldn't melt because there's no heat source inside the woodshed apart from maybe a couple of lanterns as well. So to support this snow, let's put on some snow to start with. So we've got big blocks of snow right there. And here we're gonna put some, yeah, we're gonna to have to have some upside down stairs to disguise that snow from inside the woodshed. Same exact thing over here. We need to disguise, might as well bring that along by one block and it joins up nicely. We need to disguise the, um, the snow from the inside. Now it's snow layers. Plenty of them. And then we need some more snow in here as well. So it looks like we're going to have to go and get busy with some more slabs. Oak or spruce doesn't really matter. Now we can put on our snow layers. Build it up to disguise that spruce there. There we go. All disguised. And then add on some more snow at the top and then it just indicates the shape of the roof as well i'm just going to try and put some snow on the top there but it's not really working out but there we go that's actually worked out really nicely a couple more sections to do in snow that one could be snow as well if you want a little bit of snow sort of hanging over i'm just trying to figure out where else we can get snow but that's pretty much it maybe that staircase right there could be snow or stair block I should say okay more slabs to hold up more snow again disguise that stripped spruce and you can even put some snow on those bits as well brilliant all right um, yeah it's looking good even more snow right here as well again just build it up so you disguise everything some snow on the stone bricks there that one could be snow as well, and the whole place is looking really, really cold indeed. Cool, that is the woodshed pretty much nearly finished. We do need to put on a, a door, add in some lanterns, and of course put some wood inside the shed, but great progress so far. Okay, so to add more detail to the woodshed, we're going to add some spruce trapdoors. These are going to be 
our doors, so simple six spruce trap doors like that. Six here. Looks like a nice open door to me. Let's get plenty of light in here. We're going to hang it down on a chain. Brilliant. And then put some lanterns on the inside and it makes that kind of cozy, glowing appearance as well. And then your choice of logs. Artistically, aesthetically placed. Nice one. All right. Woodshed. I reckon that is complete. So now it's the front steps and the front sort of fortifications. Grab some cobblestone, coarse dirt, mossy cobblestone slabs, gravel, snow, mossy cobblestone, spruce log, stripped spruce log, and some spruce fence. And now we're going to make a little shape here. Again, use the grid that you've got and bring it along to... Needs to be opposite the, this run of three spruce trapdoors. Finish it right there and make it two blocks high and just fill it all in completely. Oh my goodness, that's fast. All right, stop. <laughs> there you go, you can see what I did there. Hopefully you can see what I did there. Now we're gonna come in two blocks, two blocks, one, one, and then a three. One, two, three. And again, just fill that gap in. Cobblestone, whatever you've got, whatever block you want, just fill it in like that. And there we go. That is gonna be our fortified front porch or front entrance, a front yard, really. It ends up being a front yard. Okay, spruce logs. And we're gonna make a wood dent there and go one, two, three. That's what we're aiming for, guys. Aiming for that kind of shape over there. Uh, miss a gap of one. Take out that cobblestone. One, two, three. And we keep on going. One, two, three. So we've got three of these uprights so far. Let's go for one more. One, two, three. Then over here, again, just missing a gap. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. And one, two, three. Nice one. All right. Now, stripped spruce logs. They're going to sit like this. One, two, th one, two, three, please. There we go. Great, nice job. And then on top of them, some spruce fences looking like little spikes, extra defense. Maybe they would look better on the, the dark oak or the spruce, the non-stripped spruce. Well, you could experiment with that. Actually, no, they wouldn't. I don't, I'm not sure. <laughs> I can't make my mind up. Right, so um, right here, actually, we can go for three blocks high in total of stripped and then we've got normal stripped the normal just sits down it's three blocks but it sits down as you can see by one block one two three and that really helps us approach this corner more of these spruce spikes on top um so just coming away from the fence for a few seconds. I'm going to disguise this corner, disguise it with piles of snow. If you're in the snow a lot, you're going to get lots of piles. There we go, looking mighty fine. Right, so we're ready for this uh, jammy little corner here. Inspiration from Shuzilla. So take away um, those blocks there. Those six blocks can be taken away. We're going to go for spruce trapdoors, and they're going to sit 
here. One, two, three. One, two, three. And then we're going to need some spruce slabs. They're going to sit right there. And then full blocks of spruce slabs are going to fit. It's kind of diagonally right there, just behind the spruce trapdoors. More spruce trapdoors, three of them on front. And a couple more spikes. And yeah, we're getting there. We just need to cut away a little bit more into our position here. Now I think that block is wrong. Is it wrong? I think, I think it's wrong. Yeah, we'll take away. Yeah, that's definitely, that's definitely wrong. Okay, ignore that block. Don't do that block. Yep, this is better. So we need to dig down, make that some nice, beautiful, mossy cobblestone. It could be, what else do we have? Do we not have cobblestone slabs? Yeah, we definitely need some cobblestone slabs. So many blocks in Minecraft these days, you almost have to always search for it. There we go, cobblestone slabs there. So you step up nicely, and then here, get rid of these three blocks. And then, it, this is over to you really, this bit. You've got to make your path look rough and ready. So mix in some mossy, mix in some normal cobblestone. Like that, there we go. Beautiful so far. And then change some blocks for andesite. Oh, not that one. Maybe that one. No, not that one. Too high. Yeah, change some blocks for andesite, so for some gravel. You could change some blocks for some snow as well. The coarse dirt looks great. That andesite here. Or is it gravel? Yeah, is that gravel? I think that's gravel, right? Pretty sure. Gravel or andesite, they're kind of similar blocks. But mix it in. Doesn't need to be exactly the same as mine, but mix it in. Make it look cool. And we'll just change that block right there. And then when you add in some snow layers, this place really does start to look really great. You can kind of play with the snow layers, the levels here to emphasize the kind of the different heights of the, cobble, the cobblestone <clears throat> and the spruce logs are kind of digging down as well. Really, this is the, the fun stage here, just adding in snow layers. really starts to make the building pop. It starts to cover up some of those connected textures as well. So I love that detail on the outside. You could do, you could add some buttons to that kind of fence as well. Some buttons on it might look quite smart. You could add some uh, signs as well. Some signs would look good in it as well. Right, little mini wood shed. Two blocks high with the fence. <clears throat> and we're going to add in some spruce trapdoors. Yeah, to make a little tiny mini external kind of wood store. More oak fences just here, a couple of them. I'm kind of hesitating a little bit here because we can actually turn some of these spruce fence gates into actual snow. So I'm going to add some more dark oak logs out here. And you can see I've missed out that little gap there and then we can put some snow on top of that gap where there should be a trap door. It's actually quite a flexible system. At the back here as well, we can get rid of those two, add in some more logs. And then when you reach for your, your snow layers, you can see it looks really, really cool, doesn't it? It looks really, really cool. Especially those ones, right? And you could even get rid of the staircase as well. Just add on, add in your own little personal snow drifts like that. And I think that's that's so so nice. Absolutely love that. Great. Okay. Um, let's have a look on the inside here. Oh, do we want to add some lighting to this place? Hmm. Oh, yep, yeah, that works. Kind of works. Can we walk past it? Hopefully we can walk past it. If you don't like it, take it away. That kind of works as well. Gonna have some iron bars just to make our doors look a little bit more fortified. So those come up there like that. And see so if you can kind of move them, shut them, lever them, maybe have some hinges. Maybe they could be hinges as well. Maybe you can come up with a better diagonal door. I haven't done many diagonal doors and that was kind of my first. 
So now we're into the inside of the front yard and then just go crazy guys, anvils, maybe some workbenches, smithing tables. I'm adding some barrels, adding some snow uh, as well. By the way, we can add in an extra little kind of a porch. As you can see here, we've got a little porch here. Um, oh, I've also added in some little icicles made of glass there. But yeah, look at this little snowy porch here. We've got some spruce trap doors, some light blue stained glass to represent our icicles hanging down as well. So a couple of spruce fences. And then we're gonna come down a level with these trap doors. And that means we can get some snow on top and I definitely think the snow would gather right here so again you can just put those on top of the trap doors if you've got the trap doors at the right height yeah we need that one no option there add in a few bits of snow yeah we, we, we can't change that we could you could change that into a whole block of snow actually I wish I'd thought about that instead of snow there that could have been a whole block of snow that would have been a quite a cool little detail you can add some snow to the roof I think in certain places um, but maybe the back of the room here wouldn't be so warm. It's the opposite end from the fire after all. So you could add in a few little snow layers. And that's pretty much the whole place finished. And here is the finished building. Just maybe tidy up a few bits of your snow around there, looking pretty good. Um, I've added in some icicles with some light blue stained glass, a few spruce signs in places just to jazz things up. I've added in a little birch button. These little details you could put in some barrels down there, some more snow drifts around at the back. And I think I doubled up on my oak trapdoors as well. That's the only difference between the version I just uh, showed you. Also hanging the lance, lampern, lanterns, lanterns down on some chains as well also looks pretty smart. So a couple little aesthetic differences. Apart from that, we're good to go on this tutorial. Guys, thank you so, so much for watching. Very much appreciated. If you watched the whole video, let me know. The secret word is pineapple. If you put that in the comments, I will know you watched the whole video. Thank you so much for watching. Take care for now. Ciao, ciao. And the blocks be with you. All right, a little bit behind the scenes from our development area. This is my uh, Patreon build team, and they all had a go at making their own snowy tundra house. And if there's no sign outside, I'm afraid I won't be able to tell you who it's made by. But this is Kingly Mender, has a kind of a planted roof as well, and a huge area with kind of a mezzanine balcony down to uh, a little place where you could sleep, a little bunk room, I guess, and then we bring ourselves back out to here. So quite adventurous, quite fortified, maybe the most fortified build we'll see here as well. Over here, I believe this is Gibby, I think, with a little fortified camp here as well. Pretty smart. And I think it was changed, actually, to be this one over here, kind of improved. Yeah, a little fortified camp. And this was quite smart, actually. little diagonal tent, which is really kind of, kind of cool, actually. I'm not a big fan of diagonal builds, but that one's really, really special as well. A little kind of snow cave off to one side. Here we have plate spinner with a very uh, tall build indeed. Not quite finished the roof here, but you can get the idea. Um, a little kind of an ice bridge or a bridge over the ice leading up to a kind of internal staircase and then up to this area here where there's a big kind of double bed and then on up to the attic level as well. So well done to, to plate spinner. Um, what else do we have here? We have one by Uki, I think. This is Uki's fortified house here with a huge chimney in that side, kind of um, a staircase with a coverment over, a coverment, is that a word? Staircase with a cover over here down to the basement and then through and out into this area here. So kind of a, a downstairs area and an upstairs area as well and of course this big watchtower up here as well so very very smart build and a huge beautiful flag there by Uki. This one over here by JJ, uh, JJ Cake well done, JJ T Cake, JJ's Nordic fortified house as well. Great use of the black stone I thought in this house, very cute little build as well. Again uses the 5x5 five five building system and then on and up and in here. <laughs> We've got some invisible item frames with all your things hanging up there. Some bunk beds, 
a corner uh, chimney and a table as well. I do like this place. Apparently there's a way of getting down into the basement as well. I think it's gonna be around the side. Yeah, so a basement, a wood store, and a little way of seeing out there as well. Very smart by JJ. So everyone had a kind of a different design. Really cool to see everyone's different take. And then Shula, um, this is where I got inspiration from my path, from Shula's design as well. This is quite an incredible storage area around here, little uh, stables, and then through into another storage room. And then to get into the main, how do you get into the main? Ah, the main build is through here. Tables, chairs, again, exquisite detail uh, in Shula's builds. Always, always amazing detail, all kind of cramped and the tiniest little spaces and another little viewing platform up here. I think I've missed maybe one bit at the side there, but there we go. That is our interpretation. We do also have a little modern, <laughs> would you call it a modern fortified house by Dragon Muster uh, as well. Quickly take you inside this one as well. Good to see some modern. <laughs> I haven't seen a modern build on my channel for a long, long time. There we go. Very cool indeed. Fortified houses. Hope you liked the video and the bonus footage at the end here.